But we start with a procession to honor a fallen officer. It carried Hall County Deputy Nicholas Dixon to the Memorial Park Funeral Home. Such a sobering sight, a final salute as his body's taken inside. A 28-year-old man, a husband, and a father of two boys. And right now a visitation is underway for family of Deputy Dixon right now. Deputy Dixon, as you know, shot and killed while responding to a call about a stolen car on Sunday. Today, three suspects charged in Deputy Dixon's death appeared in court. For the first time, they are just teens. A fourth suspect, Hector Garcia Solis, is still in the hospital after being shot multiple times. They're all only 17 years of age. And again, facing felony murder charges, the Hall County Sheriff's Office says they were driving a stolen vehicle when deputies tried to stop them and the car crashed. The teens took off running and eventually the suspects and deputies shot at each other. Deputy Dixon was shot once and taken to the hospital. It is there where he later died. All day, people have been sending prayers for the deputy's family on our Facebook page. Right now, the sheriff's office is getting ready to hold a candlelight vigil for Deputy Dixon. Latasha Givens is live outside the funeral home with a look at how family and friends will remember Deputy Dixon. People are just reeling over the deputy's murder. We're alive at Memorial Park Funeral Home where the family is just now able to view the deputy's body. And as they begin the grieving process, the community and local businesses are wrapping their arms around the Dixon family. It's just a shame that a young man like that would, would have to make that sacrifice. In his wake, he leaves a, a wife and two children. That's not fair. If you ask around town, you would be hard pressed to find someone who's not affected by the killing of Deputy Nicholas Blaine Dixon. Darren Kigger says he worked with Dixon at an auto parts factory before he joined the force. Kigger says the community isn't just saying nice things about the fallen deputy because he's gone. The kind words are because of how he lived. This is the only time I've ever seen it happen where I actually knew that individual and know for sure nobody saw it. This guy had a heart of gold. And that's why people are putting their money where their heart is. From bakeries to tattoo shops, businesses are giving back to support the Dixon family. According to his Facebook page, this Exxon gas station is donating two cents of every gallon sold. Twisted Salon posted they ordered 400 bracelets for sale with Officer Dixon's name. And Milton Martin Toyota is giving the family a car. They have five different options to choose from. All the other proceeds are going to the Deputy Nicholas Blaine Dixon Memorial Fund, something that was set up by the Sheriff's Office and something Kigger believes Dixon's wife would appreciate. He would talk about her very lovingly and very lively. He was a special guy and he, had, he, he, he loved her very much. There was no doubt about that. He was head over heels. There's just not a surplus of those type of human beings anymore. But he was one of them. He really was a good guy. I miss my friend. Visitation begins tonight at 6 for family and friends, but there is also a vigil at the sheriff's office that starts at 8 p.m. and that is open to the public. Back to you. The thought of those two little boys without their father now is, is just absolutely heartbreaking. Latasha, thank you. For more information on the story, the Hall County Sheriff's Office has started a memorial fund for Deputy Dixon. All the money will go to his family. We have information on how to donate on our website. That's 11alive.com.